document when you are preparing your document that can either be your thesis your essay your research report your research paper for a beginner to understand the system mechanism of the references that how to generate the references and how to do the in-text and out-of citation is a really challenging task in the previous video we learned about that how to generate citations of any kind of a document by using AI tools with a single click you can access this video from i button or from description box or you can visit my channel where you will find a lot of mind-blowing videos which are going to help you to be a good and academic writer by using AI tools. In this video specifically, we will know that how you have to do in-text citation or you have to insert your citation in footnotes without using any tool with the help of a Microsoft Word. So after generating the citation with the help of any tool or with the help of even this scrubber extension about which I talk that if you open any web page and on that web page you don't have a full article this tool will provide you the citation on a single click and even the summary key sentences in the form of a paragraph and even the history of the citation and is it will give also give you the detail out text uh, citation and its in text citation as well. So for example if you have this citation and you want to copy this citation you just have to press Press the copy to clipboard and you will go to your original Microsoft Word offline file and you will just click at the place where you want to do the index citation of this bar of the Microsoft Word and click the option references where you will find multiple options here you can link your Microsoft Word with Annol, Mendeley, Zotero if their versions are compatible with each other. But in this document, we are not linked with any of the uh, reference management system instead Zotero and we're not going to use it. We just want to uh, explore the feature of Microsoft Word that how you can use in text and uh, bring your citation in the footnote with the help of a Microsoft Word. If you want to know the whole process that how you have to do citation with the help of a API or any kind of a reference stylization with the use of Microsoft Word. There are two detailed videos about it in my research playlist. You will find the link in the i button. You can watch these videos and you will learn that how you can use Microsoft Word for professional citation. We will just click the place where you want to do this citation and we will press insert footnote. As this is our first footnote, by generating the number first, it will bring me toward the footnote of that page and give me the option to paste my citation under this footnote. So I have a detailed citation over here according to the required format. I will just click it and rearrange it according to my requirements. As I want to keep its font size 10, I want to keep the line space one and in this way I have a, this index citation on the footnote of my word document without using any reference management tool. In the same way if I want to insert a second reference I will I will repeat the same process I will click at the place where I want to add that reference then I will go to the reference bar click insert footnote and here the number will change and after inserting number two this tool will bring me back to the footnote and I can insert my second reference over here. In the same way, I can do its formatting. So here is another amazing option of this reference management system that, for example, if I click on this number one, my, the detail of my complete reference will appear here. In the same way, if I press on number two, the detail of complete reference will appear here by just placing the cursor on that reference number. If I want to change any reference on position two, there is a no need to make any change at this position. I will just go on the reference reference to and will delete this reference and copy another reference and can paste at this place. So after changing the reference at number two, I will place my cursor on number two. I can see the details of the second reference which I have changed over under my footnote. In this way, I can make changes in the reference very easily. And for example, if I delete this reference from footnote, I have to delete it from the footnote along with by deleting it that place also manually where I have put it during index citation. And for example, you have a hundred references on your hundred pages and unlimited pages and you want to remove text citation number three from your index citation, then the numbering of your references will not disturb. It will auto arrange to itself and after deleting one reference, one a random number of any reference from your file from 100 references 
this will rearrange it and the reference will be 99 and the numbering will be in a sequence so you can easily manage your references by using word document and its index and outtext citation and after that you can copy all these citations from here and can uh, bring them in your bibliography and even you can uh, use a reference management system of uh, word document and you can add them here by clicking the option insert citation and uh, by filling the information in these bars. So in this way you can use Word document for in-text citation and you can generate unlimited citation from AI tools and the extension which I talk about by using AI tools. I hope so this video helps you to make your citation process, academic writing process more easy. If you want more videos like this, share your feedback in the comment section and if you are finding any kind of a difficulty while using these tools, don't forget to share your problem in the comment section. I will be there to answer you. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care of yourself.